All right, all the ring breaks lovers, please hear me out. I have something to say. Wait until you type your comments. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cycling content. So yesterday, Chris Froome dropped a bomb on YouTube with his review of his factor bike. By the end of this video, basically what he said is that he is not sold on disc brakes. I'm not gonna play his video here. If you wanna see it, there will be a link into the description for you to check it out. Chris said those few points, that disc brakes are heavier, disc brakes are a lot more maintenance, disc brakes can rub, disc brakes can overeat on long descent. He doesn't like them, pretty much. Straight to the point, he doesn't like disc brakes. He said that the technology is not there yet and rim brakes is still better for him. More on that later. Fast forward a couple hours after this video is dropped and all the rim brakes lover are preaching this video saying, ha, huh, finally we have a pro, we have Chris Froome, Tour de France winner that is with us against the disc brakes and it's making a lot of wave into the media world of cycling since yesterday. But hear me out, I have a different point of view here, something that Chris did not really mention into his video. Yes, I totally agree that disc brakes can be a little bit more of a pain, a lot harder to set up. You do need a professional or professional tools to bleed your brakes. Yes, sometimes a little bit of rubbing will happen, but what disc brakes got over rim brakes is that they brake harder. They will bring you from 50 km an hour to zero in a shorter distance than rim brakes, in any condition, especially rain. Those couple of centimeters, if not meters, can actually save your life. If a car runs a red light, you might break in time and save your life. If a car gets out of a driveway, you might break enough to go around that car. If there's a sharp turn in a descent that you misjudge, this brakes will probably save your life once again. If you're racing, there's a crash in front of you, well, this brakes might also help you to slow down faster and avoid crashing. All of these points were not considered into Chris' video and I think they are so important. Us weekend warriors, cat 1, cat 2, cat 3, cat 5 racers, we're not professionals, we're probably never gonna be onto the world tour, so safety should be our main concern. Safety is what will let us ride a bike for a longer amount of time until we're 45 and 50 and maybe doing that forever. Safety will prevent you from crashing and injured yourself and safety will be improved with a better braking performance. So here I am stating today that I do love disc brakes. I'm not gonna go back to rim brakes for my race bikes or my main bikes. I will still ride rim, it's still good, but it's not as good as this. I am totally okay with the industry moving forward to disc brakes because it's just actually better for the braking performance. So I know it's a really polarizing subject. If you wanna share your thoughts into the description down below, I will be there to reply to your comments. Let's have a discussion. In the event you are in the market for new wheels, don't hesitate to check out the Hyper Wheels from Windspace. They come in disc brakes version or rim brakes version. Wind space are all about this movement of save the rim brake. I personally do not agree with that, but they will be there for all the rim brakes lovers that don't want to go to disc brakes. I'll leave the links in the description with a discount code of 10% if you guys are interested. All right, this is it for today's though. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. All right, my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace. Oh,